or good morning to everyone. What we'd like to do tonight is I'll give a, a uh, what I call a brief presentation on, on Alzheimer's and, and um, why alpha meta can not only be a preventative but also actually reverse and uh, Alzheimer's and other uh, degenerative condition. <music> Alzheimer's disease in the brain it can be many, many causes. But here, what they found is called rogue proteins, beta amyloid plaques build up in the brain cells. This blocks cell to cell signaling at their synapses. You know, in order for cells to communicate, they have to have these synapses, you know, they. The, neur the, the neurons, they, they connect the cells so that they send the messages on what to do, how to be healthy and such, okay? Triggers inflammation and devours disabled cells. That's what this, these rogue proteins do. The other thing is called tau proteins, neurofibrillary tangles. You get, the, it causes like this congestion, these tangled up uh, uh, cells, the, the, the connections between the cells, the neurons and such, the axons, uh, the dendrites, uh, those are the interconnections. It, it tangles them up so they can't function properly. You've got to have the proper enzymes to be able to break that up, but also diet. And this just shows the neuron and how the amyloid, amyloid plaques, the uh, rope proteins can block the signal between cells. And if you block the signal between cells in the brain, what's going to happen? they're going to die. They're not getting the message they need. So what happens with Alzheimer's is when the brain isn't getting the messages between the cells, and because it controls the function of our whole body. And so when it's not getting the messages, the rest of our body, the organs, the glands, the tissue, the bones, they're not going to get the message to regenerate and to do their job. And unfortunately, that's what happens with Alzheimer's. The whole body tends to degenerate and so it's not functioning properly and eventually it just stops functioning altogether. It's a very, very sad condition. Scientists are finding more evidence that links type one and type two diabetes with Alzheimer's disease, the most common cause of dementia. Listen to that. Because up to 81% of people living with Alzheimer's are estimated to have type two diabetes, 81%. While scientists are still investigating how diabetes is linked to dementia, it is well known that the brain uses enormous amounts of glucose, right? I mean, we gotta have the right form of glucose, the right form of complex carbohydrates that are in alpha beta. So you get the right form of uh, energy material that your bodies can consume. Growing body of evidence indicates that diabetes mellitus and Alzheimer's disease are linked. That this defective insulin messaging cell to cell contributes to the communication and therefore the dysfunction, lack of communication and mental deficits in Alzheimer's disease. Direct correlation. What are warning signs of Alzheimer's? Problems can include memory loss that disrupts daily life, poor judgment leading to bad decisions, loss of spontaneity and sense of initiative. They just don't want to do anything. They want to sit and look out the window usually. Losing track of dates or knowing current location, uh, taking longer to complete normal daily tasks, repeated questions or forgetting recently learned information. That's a biggie. You know, how often you know people with Alzheimer's who will ask you the same question twice within five minutes. It's very sad. And, it, and it's frustrating to them as well. Signs and symptoms, memory loss affecting daily activities, difficulty with problem solving, difficulty performing familiar tasks, routine work, trouble with speech or writing, disoriented time or places, decreased judgment, mood and personality change. And the thing is that's being more paramount these days too. Isolation from social groups, very important to keep connected to your friends, your family, your, your uh, everyone that you know, because it's stimulating to the brain and, and the heart too. So what is this functional food alpha meta and why? The real superfood for your brain. We have a patent on this showing how it actually is probably the best cell food known in the world. And we won't get into the uh, manufacturing of it other than it's become a wholly bioavailable organic form of uh, polysaccharide polypeptides, which is carbohydrates and, and the amino acids, which you got to have one for energy, one for rebuilding. So this is the perfect food to combine the two. We'll show why. It's a spark of life. 
ready to use raw material for the cell, basic fuel to stimulate cell vitality, and energy booster for each single cell, energy sparkling within 30 seconds. So this is what basically Alphamate is. It is a health solution. The polysaccharides, alpha beta glucans. You hear a lot about beta glucan these days, but alpha glucans are even better because they just don't stimulate the immune system. They modulate and they provide a, the perfect source of polysaccharides or carbohydrates, basically what they are. So here you go. Look at the one on the right, you know, the one on the left area of normal activity, you see all this light, you know, and um, it's alive. And then you look at the brain affected by AD, it's vacant. Nobody's home. These brain cells are dead. That's what happens with Alzheimer's disease. So we did a study at Emory University School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia, along with PMK Research Institute in Bangkok, Thailand. But look at the control here. You know, there's not many cells there, you know, and then it was introduced a, uh, a neural toxin and it killed a lot of the cells here. You can see all that. But when we bathed it, in the um, alpha meta, the PSP, look at the protection there. Not only that, but what, what they saw at Emory University of Medicine is they saw the actually regeneration of the axons and the dendrites and more cells, brain cells, which, which means not only is it protecting, but it's regenerating, which is phenomenal. So every time you take the alpha meta, you're, you're getting this effect in your brain and your whole body. Then they took it at Emory University School of Medicine because they were so enthralled. And uh, they put it uh, into what's called a colorimeter, MTT colorimeter, which it is one of the few instruments that actually measures cellular energy. They saw a 54% increase, which is phenomenal in these brain cells, you know, for energy. So, and the more the ratio, which means the more you consume, the, the, the more um, uh, energy you're going to get for your cells. You can just put it in water, a little warm water, you know, even four ounces and drink it down. Uh, stir and drink freshly three times daily for the first three months. That's the way to really activate your system. Then one or two times daily for maintenance. Regular exercise, I've talked about that. Improves mood and better sleep, so important. Nutrition, increase your omega-3 and, and get vitamin D. You know, in, in Asia, people tend to avoid the sun. You've got to get vitamin D. They've shown that people who died of COVID had very low vitamin D. Isn't that interesting? Reduce sugar and saturated fat intake and avoid artificial coloring and preservative foods and, and, and fake sweets like high fructose corn syrup. They've shown a direct correlation with diabetes in that. NutraSweet, the diet pop, it makes diabetes worse <laughs> and Alzheimer's and MSG, monosodium glutamate, avoid it. It's a, it's a neurotoxin. Get enough sleep. So important to get six to eight hours of sleep a night. You know, do what you can there. Quit smoking. Tobacco is not a bad substance, herb, you know, but it's when they put a hundred known carcinogenic chemicals in it. Smokers are 30% more likely to develop dementia and 40% more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. That's almost one in two smokers are going to get Alzheimer's. Keep that in mind. Cut back or get natural, get organic. It's available these days. Enhance your social. I mentioned that. Uh, cognitive therapy, mental, emotional, spiritual balance, prayer, medication, uh, meditation, yoga, tai chi, reading, mind games, even crossword puzzles. Keep that mind going. Reduce consumption of GMO foods. Oh, most salmon these days is horrific. Uh, if you saw the video on that. Uh, try to get as much wild organic as you can. The same as soy, corn, grain-fed beef and pork. They all do GMOs and, they're, and they cause rogue protein. So you got to watch them. Get grass-fed. Reduce consumption of wheat and dairy products. Wheat is all rancid. It's all rancid. These days, most noodles are wheat. They're not rice anymore. Drink plenty of pure water. Decreased fluid intake dries out brain cells. Think about that. If you don't drink enough water, and maybe those who drink too much alcohol, they get uh, um, dehydrated. And smile, laugh, and be positive and happy. 